was my husband's Ford Galaxy. We drove Jamie home from the hospital in that car. My mom was 40 when she had me. Everyone told her she was too old to be a mother. I put my hand through the little window and he'd squeeze my finger and I'd tell him, life was very big and unknown. And she told me that there were animals and sky and cities, music, movies. He'd fall in love, have his own children, have passions, have meaning, have his mom and dad. When they got divorced, my father moved back east and left the car with us. He calls on birthdays and Christmas. Last time I felt close to him was on my birthday in 1974. He bought me mirrored sunglasses. I saw the president fall down the stairs, and I threw up on the carpet. Since then, it's just been us. in our history. As you know, there is a growing disrespect for government. It is a crisis of confidence. We can see this crisis in the growing doubt about the meaning of our own lives and in the loss of a unity of purpose for our nation. We always believed that we were part of a great movement of humanity itself involved in the search for freedom. We've always believed that the days of our children would be better than our own. But we've discovered 
that owning things and consuming things does not satisfy our longing for meaning. Wow. He is so screwed. It's over for him. I thought that was beautiful. Stop. What? Thinking that you know everything that's going on. No, I don't. I just think that, you know, having your heart broken is a tremendous way to learn about the world. I see the shapes. This is the really hard part, and then it gets better, and then it gets hard again. <laughs> Do you think you're happy? Seriously? Look, wondering if you're happy, it's a great shortcut to just being depressed. <laughs>